Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm back with another Drugalia Lost video. This time by myself. I did a video looking at the trailer for the Fire Emblem Kindred Spirits with my brother, if you want to check that out. It's a little bit different kind of a video, but today's video, because, you know, my brother's more casual, but he actually knows the Fire Emblem Hero units, so it ended up being perfectly good. Today's video, we're going to be focusing on the Mana Spirals for the brand new adventurers. Not brand new adventurers, the old adventurers. <laughs> Sorry, it's it's been a long night. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go over them. Uh, there's four new units. This is the first time I'm gonna be looking at them, and I'm gonna kind of give my thoughts, and if you want to give me your thoughts on them too, you can leave them there too. So that's what today's video is gonna be. If you end up liking it, remember, leave a like, comment, and do all that good stuff. And subscribe to me if you're not already, by the way. I talk a lot of Drugalia stuff and do other video things. Anyway, let's go into the first, um... So the five, the four units here are Scylla, Sil Silas, Clayman, Rodrigo, and Sophie. So, okay, we got Silas. Uh, he deals wind damage to the enemy directly ahead and reduces their strength by 30% and then inflicts poison. This strength reduction effect will not stack. Poison foes take extra damage. Um, insp inspiring Scent increases the entire team's skill gauge fill rate by 30% for 15 seconds. It implies one of the following at random. And increases strength by 25% for by tw by 25% for 15 seconds. Increases defense by 25% for 15 seconds, or increases max HP by 20% for the remainder of the quest. Also, occasionally grant all of the above bonuses at the same time. And whoa! Also, occasionally grant all the above bonuses at the same time and remove all afflictions. Okay. Huh. Co-op ability HP 15%. Chain co-op ability, poison equals strength, uh, user strength 13%. Last recovery, grants an HP regen buff for 20 seconds when he HP drops to 30%. Three times per quest after activating this buff will not activate again for 15 seconds. Opponent freeze resistance up 100%. HP 70% equals strength 15%. Increases strength by 15% when HP is 70% or above. Hmm, okay. Very interesting. So he is able to do poison. I don't know if there's a lot of, like... Poison dealing. To be 100% honest with you, with you, with Wind, all I'm really aware of is Victor, Welly, um, Lin Yu, and uh, Noel, and kind of and Tobias. So I think he ends up. I don't know if anyone really. No, I want to say Lin Yu has something poison related, huh? Oh no, and um, Valentine's Melody does as well, actually. So that's interesting. It's interesting that they decided that the way to save Wind, not that Wind needs saving, but Wind is currently, I think, one of the weaker ones, especially getting into their Agito, which is going to be really interesting going into. Um, maybe being able to poison will help a little bit more. And then Inspiring Spirit. Inspiring Scent looks like it can be good, but also that's R that's heavy RNG. Uh, that part that always activates, so the skill rage fill rate is really good. And then also there's specific wind um, worm prints that you can put on your units, because I know Noelle uses them. So if you put it on them, they will last longer than 15 seconds. I kind of want to see how this guy is in action, though. Uh, especially depending on how quickly it takes to actually get um, this thing and how often this sometimes activates. Because it seems like <laughs> increasing max HP by 20% for the remainder of the quest, wouldn't that just constantly happen? So you would just, by the end of it, if you were super lucky, you would just have insane amount of HP? Or is that not how it works? If you know how that works, tell me. And tell me if that doesn't seem like something you can do. Um, interesting, for sure. Uh, it's gonna be kind of weird, because there's not a lot- Oh, and Hawk. And Hawk is another wind one, but Hawk kind of- So here's the main thing that Lerp kind of told me, is that Hawk is so good, but the reason he's so good is that it's actually very hard to compare him to other wind units. Because there's not a lot of wind units on his specific level. There's wind units that are good, but none of them on the same tier as Hawk. Um, Hawk doesn't function well on a wind team. Hawk functions best on a shadow team. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to Clyman. Shadow Shackle deals shadow damage to enemy in a line and inflicts poison, sure. Forbidden Spear. Deal shadow damage to the target and nearby enemies and inflict sleep. Poison foes take extra damage. Skill damage 15%. Mad uh, shadow HP below 40% equal leg resistance 9%. Madness. Using Forbidden Spear grants the user the Madness effect. 
up to a maximum of 5 times. When this effect is active, the user's next 4 strike will grant the user a buff that fills the user's skill gauges gradually over time for the remainder of the quest, but simultaneously decreases the user's HP over time. This effect cannot stack and will be removed upon using a 4 strike while it is active. Hmm. Opponent blindness resistance up 100% and skill damage up 35%. I mean, he's good. Uh, from what I remember of Kleinman, back in the day, he was one of the shadow units that was used a whole bunch. Um, especially for uh, IO back in the day because of the blindness resistance. How is he going to stack up to other... At this point, Wand for Shadow is maybe one of the most stacked. The only other stacked up category as badly as this one is um, Fire Sword. Uh, and he has a lot of like crazy... <sighs> Again, this is another one where I'm going to have to wait and see. Because the last time I thought like, oh, maybe this isn't going to be as good as I thought. It ended up being like, oh, accidentally, um, Vice is one of the best... Um, shadow units because there was some specific stuff about him that we just didn't 100% know of until we saw him in action. So I'm gonna kind of hold judgment on him. I will say his category specifically is super busted. Like it's hard to like even if Galicleo being on the top of the number one for one units, and then there's Veronica, and then there's Cassandra if you've mana spiraled her, and then there's like um, Althama, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. She's there too as well. And at this point, a lot of people kind of only want. Um, Galicleos for the most part. I think some people have finally come around to Veronica, but it's actually very tough for some of the other people out there. If you start hosting all your games, and in which case people are forced to play with you, then guess what? You can control whatever the hell you want because you're the leader. But know that when if you're trying to use quick play or something, is that some people will poo-poo you away, which I really hate, but what can you do? Rodrigo? Bone Crusher deals shadow damage to the enemies in a line and inflicts poison. I am I cannot believe they decided to do two more shadow units. By the way, <laughs> I guess they did. They heard the feedback of like, how come there weren't more four and three mana spirals for shadow? And they were like, you're right. Let's finish those. Great. Um, deals shadow damage to the enemies in a line and inflicts poison. Shadow Piercer deals shadow damage to the enemy directly ahead and inflicts poison and restores five percent of the damage inflicted as HP to the user. This recovery caps at 10% of their maximum HP. Dragon Haze 15%, uh, Shadow HP 60% equals Strength uh, 3%. If a team member is attuned to Shadow, increase their Strength by 3% when their HP is 60% or above. HP 70% equals Strength plus 15%, increase the Strength by 15% when the HP is 70% or above. Opponent Paralysis Resistance 50%, and then Paralysis Resistance 50%. I mean, he's similar to Vice, at least to me, doesn't sound like anything super fantastic. So I'm going to have to wait to see him actually in action before I give anything about him. But right now, my kind of thing for Rodrigo is... Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, he gives poison, which at this point every shadow unit with a mana spiral does. Um, will that make him super viable for his team? We're going to have to wait to see how much damage he does because... Based off the kind of bare bones things I got from him, I feel like the answer is no. But I actually don't know until um, we see some more stuff. We need more info, basically. And then finally, we got Sophie. Aspen Balm restores HP to all eyes. Angry Gale deals wind damage to the surrounding enemies and inflicts poison. Recovery potency 20%. Wind poison equals user critical rate 9%. Um, recover potency 15%, potent freeze 50%, and freeze 50%. Huh. This is another three unit that feels like very basic in what she does. Uh, I think poison equals user critical. If I'm right, let me check on Lin Yu. I'm almost 100% positive Lin Yu has something to deal with poison. I might be getting her confused with Melody, but let's see. Typhoon Fist. Deals wind damage to directly inflict sleep. Uses the next three, four strikes powered up cyclones. Heaven's Breath. Okay, so I am thinking of it's not Lin Yu, I'm thinking of Melody then. Melody is the X unit that actually does all the um poison stuff. Okay. Uh, I mean obviously I think they kinda want her for the brand new Agito, because the brand new Agito has um frozen stuff around it. Uh, ice, I should say. So I think that she'll probably see... 
Because I don't think there's like a lot of great... No, actually, I take that back. Welly is the great healing unit. I just remember, it's like, not a lot of healers are used in wind. And the answer is, is because they have Welly. So... I don't know if that would be enough for her to kind of be allowed into the fight. We really need to see how that next Agito is. Because the right now, in my mind, I'm picturing her in only uh, HMC, uh, High Mercury, the Dragon Trial. And I don't really see her in there. But maybe that's kind of why they decided to Mana Spiral her, is that she's actually going to be super good for that mode. In which case, it's possible. Um, but yeah, that's the Mana Spirals. Odd choice of units. Um, it's funny that I say like, oh, yeah, both of these are freeze resistance. So 100% they, they made them with the essence of the brand new Agita Faceliara, I believe is her name. No, it's not Celiara. That's our wind girl. Celia? Yeah, it's Celia. Yeah, Celia's wrath. Because she freezes. In the trailer, they show her freezing. So I could see her being used there. But also, I don't actually know because I haven't seen the fight. We're going to see the fight. Um, when's the fight? Is that today at reset? It's going to be today, so, hmm. All right, those are the Mana Spirals. Four weird units to Mana Spiral, two Wind units. You'd think, honestly, I would think they would have done four, winds, four Wind um, Mana Spirals because that feels like that would actually be the right move um, considering the event we got going on, but they decided only two for now, so. And no new Wind unit coming from Fire Emblem either, it looks like. Weird, very weird. Uh, again, once again, as always, I will say it's better to wait to see <laughs> how the DPS kind of comes out looking. Not that DPS is the number one thing everyone uses, but it's a good way to gauge at least how viable a character is going to be for their specific mode. And also, once we actually know how the fight is, then we can start deciding what um, wind units fit for that specific mode. Because right now, every wind unit is thought of in terms of uh, high mercury. Um, and hopefully with the new Agito we can kind of start moving away from being all 100% high mercury, which is having bog resistance um, and just kind of like a laying waste to her, I suppose. But yeah, I don't. there's no real unit in here that screams to me like, hey, can't wait to try. But that's just me. None of these were, so to say, my favorite characters to begin with. So that's my current feelings on them. Tell me again how you feel about it, but that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys, so I guess, for Cielo's video next. Cielo's Wrath. All right, everyone, until next time, goodbye. <laughs>